Destructive fire season we have seen so far. These shutoff warnings are par for the course for some Bay Area neighborhoods, but it's a different story for some East Bay communities. They're seeing these shutoffs for the first time this year. KPX Five's better use live in Berkeley, where the city is now telling residents to get out when they can. Is it really that explicit, Betty? It is. It is an advisory, Brian, from the city of Berkeley. You know, this is the first time that PG&E has included Berkeley in its public safety power shutoff event this year. So residents, some of them are taking it very seriously, and they have already left this city. It's roads like these in the Panoramic Hill neighborhood in Berkeley that has officials worried residents won't be able to get out quickly during an emergency. So the city is urging people to consider leaving before Sunday afternoon. We would love to evacuate, but, you know, where do we go? And, you know, it's kind of expensive. The kids have school on Monday, so it's not exactly that easy to evacuate. We, we packed a bag. Current forecasts project winds in the area to be as strong or stronger than those present during last year's Kincaid fire and the 2017 wine country wildfires. The more that, that people pre evacuate, the more easier it would be for people to evacuate and for fire engines and police vehicles to get up those very narrow, narrow streets. To prevent the chance of sparking wildfires, PG&E could black out customers in much of Northern California and every Bay Area county except San Francisco starting tomorrow morning. We obviously recognize that power outages present hardships, especially during challenging conditions. That's why we try to make these events as small as we can. And when they do happen, we make them as short as possible. After receiving customer feedback, PG&E said this year it's improved its notification system and is able to provide more detailed information. I don't have a plan, to be quite honest, but uh, if it happened, I would certainly uh, try to go uh, to the south of Berkeley. The city of Berkeley and CAL FIRE will be adding firefighters, staff and equipment to better respond in high-risk areas. In some areas, we're going to see winds of up to 70 miles an hour. And so under these conditions, a fire is going to burn uh, very quickly and it's going to burn into areas that maybe are not historically at the highest risk uh, for fires. Betty, have they given uh, the PG&E given the residents any idea about how long they might be without power? Well, PG&E says it expects to get the all clear by noon on Monday. It will then have to inspect its equipment, and then it plans to start restoring power to residents Monday night. And this could go into Tuesday. Brian. Alrighty, that's uh, Betty. You, thank you, Betty.